Hey guys, welcome to the Creative Arena. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this amazing card without the use of any line of CSS code or additional plugin. At the end of this tutorial, we're able to create this card here easily, and it comes with a wonderful hover effect. That when you hover here, you can see this slide with the details about the card, and then you come over here, you over here, you still see the same slide coming over smoothly with these details here. And, and if you hover at the bottom here, you still get the, the same details here that you can use. And it's also responsive on all devices, as you can check it out. As you can see how it looks wonderful on your laptop here with the over effect here and here as well. And then when you come over here, you check it out on tablet. It also looks wonderful on tab tablet, as you can see how it looks on tablet with the over effect working well on tablet. And then you check it out on mobile. You can also see how wonderful the card looks on mobile. Even though hover effect is quite not important or useful on mobile because mobile phones do not have hover, but the effect is there and the design looks wonderful on mobile as well. So without further delay, let's dive in and get started and see how we're able to achieve this without the use of any line of CSS or additional plugin. You know, Elementor editor screen, the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to come over here out of Flexbox container and then we're going to select this structure here. Now we're going to come over under the layout, set the content width to full width. And then for the minimal height, we're going to change the unit from pixel to VH and give it a value of 100. Now we're going to come over here, justify content to the center and then I might identity center as well. And then for the gaps, we're going to set the gap to 40 pixel. 40 pixel. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do, we're going to come over here, click on this plus icon here and drag the container and drop it here. Now for this container here, we're going to set the content width to full width. And then for the width, we're going to change the unit from percentage to pixel and give it a value of 270 and a minimal height value of 400. Okay, so now before we proceed, I'm going to rename this container here. I'll call the first one our parent container, and then I'm going to call this one here card. Now, the reason for this is so that you know which container I am referring to. Okay, so now for this card container here, what we're going to do here is that we first of all, we're going to come over here and I'm going to give it a background color so we can see the container that we're working with, see everything. And not to worry, I'm going to remove this background color as we progress. Okay, so now that we're here. The next thing, we're under the style, we're going to come over here to the border and then we're going to give it a border, set the border type to solid. And then for the border width, we're going to unlink this. And to the bottom, we're going to give it a value of three. And then to the left, we're going to give it a value of three. So I'm three. And then we're going to come over here and then we're going to change the border color to white. We're going to change the border color to white. Not to worry as it's not showing for now, but it will come up as we continue with our edit. All right, so now for the border radius, we're going to come over here and then we're going to give it a border radius of 20 pixel all around. And then we're going to unlink this to the left. We're going to set the value to zero. So we now have a container with a border radius here, 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 and no border radius here. Okay. So now the next thing we're going to do, we're going to come over to the box shadow. For the box shadow, we're going to change the color. Now the color, we're going to set it to a solid color. And then we're going to give it a color black. Okay. And we're going to come over to the blow, set the blow to zero. Now for the horizontal, we're going to set the value to minus 20. And then for the vertical, we're going to set the value to 20. So we now have this here. Now you can see this is our border width here. This border width we added here, three to the bottom and three to the left. This is it here, this white color. Okay. So as you can see, our design is coming into form. The next thing we're going to do here is we're going to skew our container. So to do so, we're going to go to the advanced settings, come over here to the transform. Under the transform normal state, we're going to go to the skew option. And then for the skew x degree, we're going to set it to minus 10 degree. So we now have our container skewed in this form. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do here now is that we're just going to add an image to this container here. So let's drag an image and drop it here. Okay. So now for this image here, we're going to select an image. Let's come over here, select this image. Okay. You can see now that our image is also skewed. But not to worry, we're going to fix it and make sure that our image is not skewed and any content we put within this uh, container is not skewed. Only the container, the card itself, that is skewed. Okay, so in order to do that, what we're going to do is, first of all, let's try to make this image fill this container so we do not have this red color at the bottom here. So to do so, we're going to come over to the style option for the image. Now for the width of the image, we're going to change the unit from uh, percentage to pixel and then we're going to set the value at um, 800 pixel okay and then for the minimal height we're going to set the minimal height to the same height as that of the card which is 400 pixel 
Okay, now we can see that our image looks like it has filled up the container, but it is a little bit squashed. So to do to fix it, we're going to come over to the object fit. I'm going to set the object fit to cover. Okay, now it is no longer squashed, but it is still skewed. So to, in order to make it not to be skewed, what we're going to do here is we're just going to come over to the advanced settings. Under the advanced settings, we're going to go down to the transform, and then we're going to go to the skew. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to cancel out the effect of the skew on the container for the image. And to do so, we're going to put in a value of 10 instead of negative 10. What this does is that the con if you remember the container, the skew for the container, we used negative 10 which made the container to skew. Now, in order to cancel it for the image or the content within the container, we need to set it to positive 10, which means, which makes them cancel off and we now have a straight image like so. So as you can see now, the image is, um, we now have our overflow on our image, okay? Now, to fix this overflow here, like I've been doing always in the situation where we'll have overflow, we're just gonna go to the card container here, under the layout, we're gonna come over to the additional options and we see the overflow here we're going to set it to hidden now we can see that the overflow is now hidden now we now have this space here this red space here and this space here which means that our image is not fully filled up this um container this card container so to make it fill up this card container fully what we're going to do is we're going to go to the image edit the image come over to the advanced and it's under the layout we're going to come here on link this to the left we're going to set the value to minus 50 pixel and then to the right, we're gonna set the value to minus 50 pixel as well. So we now have the image completely filled of the card container and also it is not skewed, but street image, okay? So the next thing we're gonna do here is we're just gonna come over here and then we're gonna set the image position to absolute. Now the reason for this absolute position is so that we can easily add other content within this card container. What we're going to do next is we're just going to come over to our widget area and we're going to drag a container and drop it here. Okay, so now for this container here, we're going to call it inner. All right, for this inner container, we're going to come over to the width. We're going to change the unit from percentage to pixel and give it a value of 800 pixel, which is the same value of that of the width of our image that we're able to stretch and then everything worked fine for us. So we're going to apply that same width here, which is the 800. Now for the height, we're going to make the height a little bit longer uh from our default height which is 400 pixels so we're going to make this 600 pixels okay so then that we've done that the next thing we're going to do here is uh we're going to come over here and justify content to the end and then we're going to align items to the end as well okay so the next thing we're going to do here is we're just going to come over to our widget area and drag another container and drop it here now for this container here we're going to come over to the style option but before we do that let's go back to the layout and set the gap here to five pixel and let's go to the style option and give it a background color of black okay and then we're going to go to the advanced settings here and we're going to give it a padding of 20 pixel all around all right great so the next thing we're going to do here is that we're going to come over here to our widget area and we're going to drag and drop a heading text now for this text we're going to call this text john doe and then we're going to go to the style option change the tweak it a little bit by changing the color to white and then for the typography we're going to change the font size to 25 pixel the weight we're going to set it to um 600 okay so now that we've done that the next thing we're going to do we're going to duplicate this heading here okay now for the second heading we're going to call it web designer okay and then we're going to come over to the HTML method and change it to p and then we'll go to the style option for the font size we're going to reduce it from 25 pixel to 17 pixel okay so now that we've done that and everything looks great, the next thing we're going to do, we're going to try to cover up this gap here. And also, we're going to make sure that these contents here are not skewed just like the card container. So what we're going to do here is in order to make this content here not to be skewed, we're going to come over here to this inner container. Let's call this container here inner child. So we're going to come over to this inner child container here. And then we're going to come down to the transform. Uh, then we're going to come over to the skew. Now for the skew here, we're going to skew X degree. Remember that the skew we use in making this card container to take this shape is um, minus 10. So in order to cancel it, like I said earlier, we're going to need a positive 10 to cancel out the effect. So when we set 10 here, you can see that the content here is now straight. Okay, and no longer skewed. All right, so now that we've done that, the next thing we're going to do here now is we're going to cover up this gap here, all this space here. So to do so, we're going to come back to this inner container here. Now for this inner container, we're going to go to the advanced settings. Under the advanced settings, we're going to come over here 
for the position. I'm going to set the position to absolute, and this absolute will not make this space here to disappear. So set it to absolute. You can see the space is disappear. But the problem here is that our inner chart container is no longer showing. But not to worry, we're going to fix that by adding our animation animated effect here. So still on the inner container, we're going to come down here. And um, before we do anything, we're going to make sure we add the Z index. We're going to increase the Z index, set it to five, and then we're going to come down to the transform. Now for the transform, what we're going to do here is for the skew, we're going to come first of all, we're going to set the skew X to value to one so that we do not have any skew. Okay. And then we're going to come over to the offset. Now for the offset here, we're going to set the offset Y value to 100. We're going to set it to 100. Okay. And then we're going to come over to the hover effect here. For the hover, we're going to set the offset here to minus 100. Okay. So now when we hover, we can see we now have this effect with our text now showing up here. Okay. I will take it off. It doesn't show up. So now we're going to read add some transition duration so that this hover effect goes in smoothly. So for the transition duration, I'm going to set it to 800. Okay. So now when we hover, we can see how it comes out beautifully. Now we can see that there is a space here. We can see the space here and then um, we're going to cover it up and then make it all look great. So to do so, we're just going to come back here. Now still on this container here, this inner container, we're going to go back to the layout. Now for the layer, we're going to unlink this for the margin. Now to the left, we're going to give it a value of minus 10. And then to the right, we're going to give it a value of minus 10 as well. So we now have something like this. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to move this, our text down to the center here. So to do so, we're just going to come over here, come to the text here. And then we're going to go to the advanced settings. And for the padding of the text, we're going to set the pattern to the left for the top. We're going to set the pattern to the left 60 pixel. And then for the second heading here, we're going to come over here and set on link this one, but into the left, we're going to give it a value of 70 pixel. So now we'll come back here and we'll go over. We can see that our text is now well situated in the center. And then we can still reduce this. Let's give it a value of, for the second text, let's set it to 65. Yeah, this looks much better. Okay. So now that we're done, we've successfully added our animation effect to our design and everything looks great and beautiful. So the next thing we can do here is we're just going to come over and set the responsiveness of our card. So to do so, we're just going to come over here. Let's turn on the responsive mode and let's check it on tablet. Now on tablet, it looks great on tablet. Everything looks fine on tablet. And then we can just check it out on mobile. Now on mobile, we now have a little bit of problem on mobile. So in order for us to fix it on mobile, what we're going to do here, we're going to come over to the card. Now for the card, we're going to go come over to the layout settings for the card. And for the width, we're going to change the unit from pixel to percentage. And then we're going to give it a value of 70%. Okay. And then for the minimum height here, we're going to come over here and change the unit height from 400 pixel to 300 pixel. Okay. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is um, we're going to come over here to the transform. Now, as you can see now, if you hover, nothing happens. So we're going to go to the transform for the advanced settings. And we're going to come down here to the transform. Now for the transform, we're going to come down to the skew. For the skill, we're going to change the unit, change it from minus 10 to minus 5. Okay. All right. So now we're going to go to the image. Now for the image, we're going to change the skill as we're going to reduce the skill as well. So we'll go to the advanced settings and come over to the transform and then reduce it as well from 10 to 5. Okay. So now it now looks great. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to come over to the inner. Now for the inner. This inner container here, this one here, we're going to go to the here where we see the width. For the width, we're going to change the width value from that 100 here to 600. Okay. And then for the minimal height, we're going to change the minimal height value to 500. Because that is, we're going to have 500 and 600 here. Okay. And then uh, the next thing we're going to do here is that we're going to go to the advanced settings and then we're going to come down to the transform. And for the skew here, we're going to leave it this way. And then we're going to go to the inner chart. I think, yep, everything here, we're going to leave it the way it is. And we're going to come over here to the inner chart. This one here. For the inner chart, we're going to go to the advanced settings and come over here to the transform. And for this queue here, we will have 10. We're going to reduce it to 5. Okay. And then when we we'll hover, we can see it's not coming fine. Everything looks great. So now we're going to align this text here, this inner text here. So we're going to go to the first heading. 
and the first student we're gonna change the value to uh let's set it at 30 pixel and let's see okay okay 40 pixel we set it to 40 pixel and see and then let's come down to the second one and for the second value here let's unlink this and give it a value of 45 pixel and let's see if it looks great now it looks wonderful okay everything now looks wonderful as you can see on mobile it looks great on mobile as well okay so now let's go back to our desktop view and then let's come over here to this card here and let's duplicate it and let's duplicate it again now let's come over here and change this image here to okay let's see, this image here and then we'll come over here and change the heading the title the name from John Do. let's change it to Jen Do. okay and then um, all right and let's go over to this other one here and let's change the image our third card let's go over to our third card and change the image to this and then let's come down here and for the name let's give it another name uh, let's see let's give it anado anado okay so yeah you can see now let's come over let's check the responses now that we have three cards let's check the responsiveness to be sure that it's responsive okay you can see now that we have issue here for the tablet okay so to fix this it's just simple we just need to just go over to the parent container and for the parent container we'll come down here and for the wrap we're going to set it to wrap so we'll now have it this way and then we'll go still on the parent container let's go over here and let's add some padding let's give it a pattern of 100 pixel all around and then unlink this and to the left let's set it to 20 pixel and then to the no let's come back here what have i done let's give it a value of 100 pixel unlink this and then here we're going to set the value to 20 to the left to the right let's set it to 20 as well so we'll now have it looking great okay so now let's check it on mobile as well and see if it's well over here it still looks great on mobile as well everything looks great okay so now we can just update this and then exit the responsive mode and we can just preview our design um, uh, we can see how we've successfully added this wonderful effect and created this wonderful card without the use of any line of CSS code. And we've come to the end of this tutorial. If you've learned something new from this tutorial, please remember to give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to our channel, remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notified first when next I drop a new video. And if you have any comment or suggestion, you can drop it on the comment section and I will do what I attend to as much as I can. But until then, see you on our next video. Bye-bye.